everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I had a couple of Peloton and Apple Fitness Plus related questions so I'm going to talk about them in this video and touch on it in a following video. So I had somebody ask me to condense down my review videos. My review videos were definitely more of like my journey along the way because this is totally a new experience for me getting into fitness at all. And so I made the videos like that. I talked about day one all the way through day 30 of both of the apps, Apple Fitness Plus and also the Peloton app. I used just basic equipment, yoga blocks, the little weights that I used in the thumbnail. And I have 10 pound weights and three pound weights. And that's basically all I used for my fitness journey thus far. And I will be doing a video just comparing the two, just like the very basics of the two. It is gonna be an in-depth video. It's gonna give you the meat and potatoes of what you need to know if you're just strictly interested in the app information. I did leave timestamps in those videos so you can skip over a lot of the stuff and just go to my takeaways, my pros and cons at the end of each of those videos. So I definitely recommend checking those videos out and looking at the timestamps in the description box so you can skip along and find out what you need to know. So that covers that one. I'll have a video of comparing and contrasting the two apps that's coming up. I just have to add a lot of like screen captures and images to that that I haven't done yet. It's a really intense editing video and I just haven't been editing very much. So you can look forward to that coming up. And then I also had a question on where is my fitness journey now? So I had just made those videos I felt like, but I realized I am four months into my fitness journey now and it feels pretty rock solid. It feels like something that I want to do. I look forward to every day. Even days that I think of as rest days, I'm still doing some Peloton stretching. I'm still doing some Peloton or Apple Fitness yoga. I'm still doing some like yoga basics in the Peloton app where you learn different poses more in depth. So I'm still not taking actual like legit rest days. I have closed my three rings on my Apple Watch, which is under here. <laughs> I've closed my three rings consistently every day since sometime in February. And even before then, I only missed a couple of days here and there uh, since the beginning of the year, really. Just since January onward, I very rarely not closed all three of my rings. And since February, I've closed them consistently now for going on two months. And it's just something that has totally shifted. I really just my body really likes the fitness. I really look forward to both apps. And now I am paying for both apps. So that's definitely something that I wanted to talk about since I'm four months in, I'm still using and loving both apps. I use the Apple Fitness Plus mostly just for their Time to Walk series. So I'll take a walk and pop in my AirPods, these little guys, and I will just listen to the talks. So there was one from Dolly Parton. There was one from one of the guys, I can't think of his name now, um, from Hamilton. There was one from Anderson Cooper. There's a new one that just popped up from Wanda Sykes. So I really like those little Time to Walk. It's kind of like a podcast, but you can hear them like taking steps. They're actually walking at the same time you're walking. I also really like the Apple Fitness Plus yoga. That's the main, main reason why I kept the Apple Fitness Plus. I really just enjoy their yoga. I hope they keep building the collection because I've basically gone through all the 10 and 20 minute yogas. There's quite a few uh, 30 and 45 minute yogas, but I haven't really done any of those, but I really, really like their yoga. I'm still not a super fan of the Peloton yoga, except the yoga basics. I'm learning a lot with those lessons, but I just haven't really loved their yoga yet. So I do it every once in a while. They have a standing yoga thing that I will do. It's like just a like quick five minute thing. I have liked that. The only yoga that I really, really liked from them was the evening yoga. There were a couple of days where I hadn't closed my ring yet. Like the day got away from me. I didn't do my working out in the beginning of the day for whatever reason, like sleeping in late or something. And I just needed to get my minutes in. So I would do the evening yoga and it is so nice and relaxing. So I really, really like the Peloton evening yoga, but for the most part, I stick to Apple Fitness Plus for the yoga and I pay the amount, I pay the yearly amount. So it equates to six something a month, like $6.67. So basically like $7 a month. I'm paying $7 a month basically just for yoga. I have done the HIIT classes, but I got into a little bit of running, which I'll talk about <laughs> in this video, but I haven't really done a whole lot of cardio right now, aside from some running and we do a lot of walking. I'll do a HIIT from time to time in either app. I really like the Apple Fitness Plus HIIT, but I just haven't been doing it. But let's go ahead and talk about the running. 
in my Peloton video, if you saw that, I talked about I really wanted to start running. And so for April, I wanted to do the challenge and hit the Peloton app challenge where if you run so many miles, you get an award and the bottom tier is 10 miles, the middle tier is 25, and then you get the gold at 40 miles. Pretty quickly into the month, I was running like two, maybe three days a week at the beginning of the month. And I was also doing their power walks, which I found out counted towards that mileage as well. So when I was doing the running, I was doing interval runs and it was like killing me. <laughs> I barely was keeping up with the actual running part. And for the interval part in between where you're kind of resting, they recommend that you jog. I was not jogging. I was walking. <laughs> so I was walking and then I was barely jogging by the end of the running sessions. Sometimes they were short periods, like 20 seconds. Sometimes they were up to like three or four minutes of straight jogging and it was a lot. I'm not a runner, I'm not good at running. And so I felt really proud of myself to make it through like the jogging slash running intervals. I was actually jogging at minimum. I made it through the whole time. There was only one class where I had to walk one of the intervals and it was just for like 10 seconds. And then they said something like, you only have 20 more seconds you can do this or you know something motivating and I was like okay fine and I kept going so I walked maybe like 10 seconds of the interval but other than that I did all of the running I was supposed to do so I was early on in the month and I was like Johnny I think I'm gonna hit this 10 maybe I can hit the 25 by the end of the month and he's like okay what day is it oh if you kept up this pace you could totally hit the 40 miles and I was like you think I could hit the 40 miles He's like, yeah, at this pace, you're set to do it. So I busted butt and I hit the 40 miles. I think it was 40.3 miles for that month. And I got the little gold thing. And the last week of it, my knee started hurting. So I definitely retired from running. <laughs> like the third week in, my knee was hurting and sore for a couple of days after the running. And I would run, skip a day or two, and then run again. And my knee was sore almost up to that next running day. When it was time to run that morning, my knee felt fine, but then the same thing happened. My knee was sore for a couple of days. I had gotten new running shoes because I was feeling a little bit of soreness in my shins and in my feet. So I got the new running shoes and it was supposed to help with that, but it put my foot in a different position. So it hurt my knee, I think is what happened. So then the second time my knee was sore, it hurt again for like the two days. And then the third day it was fine. So I ran again. And then the last week, it was really, really sore. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna mess up something if I keep at this. So I totally finished my 40 miles and that was it. <laughs> I just barely made the 40 miles. And mind you, it was interval running three times a week, but it was also power walks in between because my interval run, each one of those I got about mile and a half. So it was a lot of power walking as well. So it wasn't all running, but it was enough running for my body and my body was done. So my knee ended up being sore that last time. And I was like, wow, maybe I really hurt my knee. As far as what part of my knee, I'm pretty sure it was my meniscus because I was having rotational pain. So when I was looking at like the various things it could be, it wasn't from bed or anything it was really more rotational and the stuff I was reading it was like along that joint and rotational pain can indicate meniscus so I definitely don't want to mess up anything I'm not enjoying the running that much it felt good doing the cardio like I felt good after it but it wasn't worth it it was just such a high impact thing and I'm just I don't want something that high impact so I retired from running after my one month of like giving it my all I really really stuck to it for the whole month, even through the knee pain, the last like week and a half I was dealing with that. My last run I was in pain and my knee was sore for like a week. It was definitely something I'm not going to go into anymore. I probably need to get professionally fitted for shoes. Probably shouldn't be running on cement. That's another thing you're not supposed to do. I probably shouldn't have pushed so hard from the very beginning because it was like, you know, I'm kind of a whole or nothing. You're supposed to really gradually get into it. Well, I walk slash ran 40 miles in one month. That's a lot. That's a lot to put on knees that are not used to it. So it was definitely user error moving forward from that. Since then, I've been really taking it easy as far as the cardio stuff. In between the running, I was doing some of the hit and cardio things and I was being really careful with my knee and even still now I'm not doing any sort of jumping activities. I'm mostly just trying to do more strength style stuff. So I've done some of the Pilates classes on the Peloton app. I've done the yoga, which I still really, really like. A lot of core classes. I'm really trying to work on my core. Okay, well I'm logged out of the app so I can't really see that part. Let's see, what does it show on my Apple Fitness? Yeah, it's a lot of strength, yoga, lots of outdoor walking. I'll go over my total. So, so far in April, which we're only nine days into April, I've done 23 workouts, seven hours of work, 
1577 calories. So March was the month I ran. I keep saying April, but I'm in April now. It was March, it was last month. So I did 140 workouts, 37 hours and 50 minutes of exercise and 11,000, almost 700. So 11,697 calories burned for the month. So that was a lot of running and outdoor walks and power walks and not a whole lot else, just stretching, some yoga, but not nearly as much as I was doing before that. And that's basically what I was doing. So this month I'm taking it more easy. I'm making sure my knee's gonna be completely healed before I hop back into the hit and trying to do any sort of jumping activities. So I'm just kind of babying the knee still because the last run really worried me that I actually had hurt or ripped or torn something because of the pain level. But yeah, I'm still doing stuff every day. I just started this last week. It's Friday now, but during this week, I've done some of the live classes. If they have live classes anywhere between 6.30 and 7.30 that appeal to me, I've been trying to squeeze those in and that's been really fun. I've gotten a few actual legit live classes and they also have encore live classes. So they're just pre-recorded and then everybody joins in at the same time. But I've really enjoyed those too. So I will definitely continue to use and incorporate some of those in. I also just joined and have not done any of the workouts, but I joined a Facebook group called Hardcore on the Floor and they do a strength training calendar and it's for more like intermediate level strength training people. And they go through the Peloton app, pick out the workout for the day. So there's a lineup for you for each day. It's like a 45 minute regimen for each day. And so I'm excited to try that out some too. It is intermediate level, so I'm not there yet. I'm not to where I could do their calendar every day of the month. It's got, I think, three days on, one rest day, two days on, one rest day is how they work the week. So it's something I can build up to, but I definitely wanna try out their calendar. I'll refer to that calendar here and there, but they put one of those together every month. So I highly recommend joining that if you're a Peloton person, it seems like it's gonna be legit. I see what people are saying in the group and it kicks their butt and they are way more advanced at this than I am. So I definitely don't think I'm ready for it yet. I want to jump into it at some point. So I have been doing more of the strength training, the five pound weights now don't feel as heavy as they felt when I first started. <laughs> when I first started, the three pound weights wore me out and now I can pretty confidently use the five pound weights for things and then I can use the 10 pound weights for other things. So if they're saying heavy weights and they're using like 15 or 20 or 25 pounds, I'm still using the fives for the most part and sometimes I'll use the tens. <laughs> So I am making progress. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I still mostly use the fives. <laughs> I definitely have had to use the tens here and there though. So that makes me feel like I'm really moving in the right direction at least. The core workouts have gotten easier. I was doing planks today for, um, it was a chest and shoulders class. It was one of the encore classes, so I signed up to do it. And it was a plank and you put your arm up and just have one arm straight. So one arm's up, you're basically like on three two feet, one hand, and it kicked my butt. My arms are so sore now, but I could actually do it, which in the beginning of this, there's no way in heck I could have done that. So in four months, I definitely have gained some strength. It's just one of those things you have to work for and it's not an overnight thing. So that's something I really had to get out of my head that A, losing weight and B, getting fit, they're not overnight things. It's just a slow, slow progress thing for me and I'm trying to do it the right way to where I'm not burning myself out of not making myself work so hard that it's not fun. It's still really fun. It is challenging, I'm not gonna lie. Some days I'm sweating my butt off and I'm super sore the next day a lot of the times, but it's still a fun thing for me. It's something I still look forward to. I really, really like both apps to where it, it kind of gamifies fitness, especially the Peloton app. It's really, really addictive. You wanna get that blue circle, you wanna keep your week streak. I did end up getting the 60 day streak of using the Peloton app, so that's the farthest daily streak that you can get. And now I'm just working on the weekly streaks. I'm 12 weeks into it. You could get an award up to four years, which is, it's crazy to me that there are people that are that dedicated to it. And I don't know that I will be that dedicated, but so far, so good. I'm past 60 days now. But yeah, still totally loving the app. I did end up getting one other fitness thing, but I wanna talk about a couple of things that I've been using. I use the Peloton app on my phone. I do have the AirPods, love them. I also have a little tripod thing. This is an Amazon Basics tripod, super cheap. It is metal and then this piece is plastic and then you can prop it up at various different angles. It's got a button here to 
press and move it around so you can swivel it however you want. And I just prop this up on our console, on our couch, or on the floor, depending on what kind of exercise I'm doing. And that's been working well. I do mirror on the smart TV from time to time, but sometimes it's finicky. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's kind of um, skippy and sometimes the audio also doesn't line up. I haven't had 100% luck with that so a lot of times I just stick to using my phone because it's just easier than trying to mess with it and I've gotten kind of used to just looking at the phone screen so it's not that big a deal. Even for my Apple Fitness Plus I just use my phone usually now. It's just easier than trying to go back and forth on the iPad. I can't see what classes I've taken and which ones I haven't so I don't get the little check marks. I have to cross reference with my phone because the check marks show up on the phone but not on the iPad and it's just too much so I just I've been using my phone and it makes it a lot easier that way. And then I bought one other fitness thing and then I'll tell you something else. <laughs> so this is the only other thing I got. I started the running and the back of my legs, my calves were so tight and sore and I actually bruised a bunch like at near the top of my calf and near my ankle. I had so much bruising. So I ended up getting a foam roller and by the time it actually arrived, my calves were fine. <laughs> So I haven't actually used this yet, but now I have it in case I get sore muscles. So I was watching videos on how to relieve some of your muscle soreness and muscle pain and foam rolling is something that a lot of people recommend. So I did order this off of Amazon. I think, yeah, it's just an Amazon Basics. It says it right there. I'll link to it for you guys. It has good reviews. It's just, you know, it's just like heavy duty styrofoam. <laughs> it's not anything spectacular, but it will do the job and Thankfully, I haven't needed it. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. So moving forward, I am four months into it and I'm thinking I really wanted that Peloton bike, especially because the running thing totally didn't pan out my knee. I really thought I was going to have to go to the doctor. Like that's how bad my knee was hurting. Probably a good week at the end, my knee was so sore and painful. Even to just walk, I had to stop doing our daily walks because my knee was just in so much pain. So I was thinking of like lower impact things and guess what, the Peloton bike, or cycling in general is a lower impact activity. So you don't have to worry about your knees nearly as much as running on cement. <laughs> so I was really thinking, you know, at the six to 12 month mark, I may get a Peloton and I started talking about it more. And Johnny knows how much I really want the Peloton bike. And I was going back and forth because there's um, an option to connect the IC4 with the Peloton app. You can save some money each month just using the app that's $12.99 versus if you get the Peloton bike or the Peloton's treadmill, it's $39 for the same app. It just works with your bike. You can be on the leaderboard and you get more metrics on your screen if you have the bike. So it is a more robust app for you to have it on the actual Peloton versus having it on an iPad or a phone. It's a way more robust app when you have it actually on the machine. I was looking at the IC4 going back and forth, but what really, really got me wanting the Peloton bike is the Bike Plus. It has auto resistance, so you don't have to keep turning the knob, which that's the main thing that I saw as like, okay, am I really gonna love cycling because I'm gonna have to be like messing with the knob? And that idea, like having to change the resistance all the time on a bike that doesn't pan out the same as the Peloton, as far as the resistance levels, that part seemed like an extra difficulty to me. So the IC4 was a little bit less for that one. And also the Peloton app connects with the watch. Whereas if I'm using the IC4, I have to use my phone to connect with it. I can't use my iPad. It doesn't connect with the watch and use my heart rate. So I'd have to get an additional heart rate monitor. So I was really, really sold on the Bike Plus. I was talking to Johnny, I was like, okay, I made my decision. I really just want the Bike Plus. I want what I want. I want the best of the best. I wanna make sure that it's just the you know, the best, easiest way to integrate and just be done with it. So I committed to that choice and I said, okay, my six month work anniversary is June 18th. My birthday is June 11th. I really wanna do it around my birthday. He was really on board with me getting the bike. What about we make it your mother's day and your birthday present? And I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. We can do it. And I'm like, well, you know what? I was just kind of joking with him one day. They say that it takes six to eight weeks for delivery. So, you know, we could order it anytime, anytime you want. And he was like, okay, let's wait until this and then you can order it. And I was like, oh, okay, great. And so I was talking to my bestie and she's like, okay, use a code so you get $100 off accessories. I went, I wrote down a code for him, wrote down the accessories. And I was like, here you go. In case you want to get a head start on the birthday gift, here's the list of whatever. He just kind of rolls his eyes. I go and I set it on his desk thinking like, 
he's not gonna just do it. He's not gonna do it without me. He'll just like hand me the sheet back and be like, okay, go order your bike whenever he feels comfortable ordering the bike. At this point, I'm thinking I'm definitely getting the bike because he's been hinting at it, making it my Mother's Day present or my birthday present. And we've bantered back and forth about it. And I was pretty convinced like, okay, I'm gonna get it eventually. By that June 18th, we'll order it and I'll get the bike. So to my surprise, he handed me that piece of paper this morning and he seemed like he was in a grouchy mood. He handed it back to me and it says no, like in big letters on the piece of paper. And I was like, Oh wow, okay. I was like, I guess I guess he was just joking. Like I guess the whole thing was just a joke. Maybe I'm not gonna get it and I'm gonna have to see if I can get it sometime in June. Kind of forgot about it. I did laundry and played with Stella and then I tucked Stella in for her nap. I walked down the stairs and he goes, Come with me. And so I'm like, what? He's like super serious. And so I think like he's gonna have a serious talk with me about something. I don't know, things are like racing through my mind, what's going on? Sits me down, grabs my computer. And he's like, go to the Peloton website and he has me shop and we check out and my Peloton bike plus is coming in the middle of May. I can't believe it. I'm gonna try not to cry. I almost cried when he did this because I thought, okay, he's not on board for this. Maybe we'll do it later. And he totally surprised me. And so my Peloton's coming in the middle of May. I'm super excited about it. I needed some sort of cardio to get back into because my knee didn't like the running, even though I liked like having something really cardio based. I felt great those days I was running or doing a lot of power walking. I was burning a ton of calories doing it, but it just made my body feel so relaxed. I felt like it was in the zone and the rest of the day, I just had this extra boost about it. And it wasn't making me super ravenous except every once in a while. It didn't make me like overeat to the point of it was useless to burn the calories in the first place, but it was so good for my body. I felt great after it, even when I was sore, I felt empowered doing it. And I was like, dang it, I need that bike. I need some sort of cardio thing that gives me that like hit of adrenaline or hit of dopamine, whatever, whatever it is that happens when you exercise really intensely. And I'm just totally there. I really, really want something that's gonna get my blood pumping. And I can't believe, I cannot believe my bike is coming. So it'll be here before my six month workout anniversary is what I keep calling it. And I'm just so excited. I cannot believe it. I still don't feel like it's real. I have the tab still open. It says your bike is scheduled to be delivered X date. And I have the tab open still so I can see <laughs> the tab. So when I'm on my computer, I click over to the tab every once in a while. like, I'm getting a Peloton. So I'm super excited about it. He's like warning me. He's like, this is your Mother's Day present and this is your birthday present. So don't even ask for anything else. Don't even think anything else is coming. This is it. And I'm thinking like, dude, this was so expensive. It totally is my Christmas present as well. <laughs> it's just over the top and I'm so excited about it. I really, really can't wait to just dive into it. I see the classes pop up, especially like on the live schedule. I see the classes, I was like, those look like so much fun. And people talk about the uh, bike boot camp classes, which is a full workout. It's you do the bike some and then you get off and do some strength training in between. And it's just like a full body, full workout experience. And I can't wait. I just really look forward to that. I have loved, loved, loved the apps and the trainers and everything about it. I will definitely try out the Apple Fitness Plus cycling too, because they don't give you like a resistance number. They tell you like, make it so that it feels like you're going up a hill or something like that. So you can up your resistance and it's just kind of giving you an idea. So I definitely will like have my iPad next to me or something. I don't know how to work it with the Peloton machine. I don't think there's a place for a tablet because the screen is a tablet but I will definitely be trying that out and reviewing that. I'll be reviewing the bike. I'll be doing a lot of videos coming up because this has totally been a life-changing experience for me. I just, I don't know, I have more confidence. I really love the way my body is getting stronger. And let's touch on weight for just a second. I just got back to my pre-pregnancy weight before having Stella, which is 10 pounds up from before I had Olivia. So this is the lowest weight I've seen in a really, really, really long time. And I'm proud of myself. I feel stronger than I've ever felt before. I still have a long way to go. I could still easily lose another 15 or 20 pounds, but I'm about 20 pounds down. Y'all, I've been talking so long that my camera battery got hot. So 
I'm gonna try and wrap this up soon, but I was just touching on weight. So I'm about 20 pounds down. I still have a ways to go, but I definitely have noticed a difference in my legs. A lot of my pants are getting baggier and don't fit as well. A lot of my super tight pants that I couldn't even really wear are now fitting. And I wore jeans for the first time. I still have two pairs of jeans from pre pregnancy with Olivia. So going on six years, <laughs> I just wore some to date night recently for the first time. They were totally comfortable and I have not worn jeans comfortably since before having Olivia. So this is a big deal. You know, I've lived in leggings and yoga pants for years. I can actually wear my old jeans comfortably. I haven't really invested in any pants like that because I just really wasn't happy with where my body was. I really knew at some point I wanted to get fit and get stronger. And so I'm glad that I finally just started this journey and I really am liking the results. I'm liking the way my body feels. I have more energy for the most part. I still get exhausted. Like by the end of the day, sometimes the kids wear me out, especially Stella. She's so high energy and she's in the terrible too. So she totally wears me out, but I feel like I can keep up with the kids way better than I could even a few months ago. So this 20 pound weight loss is not just the exercise. And I don't want you guys to think it is. It's definitely the diet too. I cut out all of my junky snacking for the most part. If I want chips, I don't eat a bag of chips. I don't eat half a bag of chips. I eat one serving of chips. <laughs> That's my snack. I also snack on fruit a lot more. Like I'll have a bowl of strawberries with a little bit of whipped cream versus cookies and random sugary snacks, a bunch of donuts, things like that. I just have totally cut out the everyday gorging myself on tons of snacks. I probably save tons and tons of calories with that. I basically just stick to three meals and sometimes a snack. I've not really changed our diet as far as our meals. We always kind of ate pretty consistent meals with mostly a lot of veggies. I do try to incorporate a lot of veggies, but I just have changed and gotten rid of all of the crazy amount of snacking. And that's not to say I don't snack because I do. And I do have a cheat day here and there where I will eat a bunch and like have a bunch of snacks in the evening. Sometimes we have cocktails. I definitely enjoy life. I'm definitely not super strict about things and I wanna be able to enjoy everything. This is more, everybody says, this is a lifestyle change. And that's what I want. I want it to be sustainable. I don't want it to feel like I'm deprived. And if I want chips, I have chips. I just have a smaller serving. And it's definitely changed the way I snack where I don't mindlessly snack. I snack because I actually want it and I enjoy it more. And that makes a big difference. Like if you eat a whole bag of chips, you don't enjoy the whole bag of chips. You enjoy like the first 10 chips. I was definitely noticing my body just didn't feel great. Around Stella's birthday, I knew she was about to wean. She was kind of weaning herself. And we went through a nursing strike at 11 months. And I just knew the end was near. I always told myself when my last baby gives up breastfeeding, I'm gonna start. And that's when I started. About the same time she weaned herself, I ended up starting to use my fitness pal and tracking my calories. And it was a big wake up call in the beginning. It was a big adjustment in the beginning. I got pretty used to it. And now I just, I eat my three meals. A lot of times I'm not even hungry after dinner. So a lot of times I don't have anything after dinner. That's just how I feel now. So yeah, 20 pounds down, four months into it. I really want to do at the six month mark, another update because a routine now I look forward to it. I plan out my classes and stuff because I love the apps. So I have like a list under my workout for Apple Fitness Plus. It's all these 10, 20 minute yogas that I can do. And I plan out my schedule using the scheduling on the Peloton app. So I have that all listed out every day and I'm getting into the live classes a little bit more. And when I get the bike, there are like hourly live classes in the morning. So I definitely should be able to hit one of those most days once the bike gets here. And I'm really excited. I just can't wait to get the bike. I cannot believe if you told me four months ago that I would feel the way I do now about working out and exercising where I'm excited about it, I'm looking forward to it. And the most exciting thing to me right now is getting a bicycle. I would tell you, you were crazy <laughs> because I never saw that coming. I really thought, you know, when I started the fitness and something needed to change, I really thought I was gonna drudge through it and not enjoy it and just force myself to do it. And just be one of those people that hates working out and just does it because you're supposed to, just because it makes you live longer and because it's healthy for you and all that jazz. Um, but I really, really like it. I look forward to it and I crave it. And days where I haven't done anything in the morning, like sometimes, you know, I wanna sleep more, I set the alarm and sleep more. I don't start my day with anything. Those days feel a little bit weird. I don't like them as much. I really, really like having something in the morning, 
in the morning, I do a meditation and a yoga, usually first thing in the morning. Before the kids are up, before Johnny is up, that's usually my thing I do. First thing in the morning, then I get Olivia's bag packed if it's a school day. Then I do some other workouts if I have other things on the schedule. Sometimes I do my workouts at nap time and even sometimes in the evening. Sometimes I still wanna do something in the evening. So it really just depends on the day, but for the most part, I do at least yoga and meditation first thing in the morning. When I was running, I was running in the beginning of the day so I could run, sweat my butt off, and go take a shower. <laughs> I think that covers everything. If you guys have questions about the journey in general, if you have questions about either app, let me know in the comment section below. I will be doing future videos, so be looking for those. Make sure to give me a like, subscribe, and follow me along, and I will be back with another video. So I plan on doing that Apple Fitness Plus versus Peloton app video very soon. I just gotta finish with the editing for that. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this video was informative and I can't wait to show you guys the Peloton bike and walk through all of it, tell you guys my experience with it once I get used to it. It's gonna be really fun. And now it's just a waiting game. Have a great day, guys. Catch you next time.